Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing so, so, so wonderful. I hope so. I do hope so. Okay? Always be in that high vibration. No matter what, you find yourself going into a lower vibration, just shake it off. Say, wake up. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm sure it won't be your last. Thank you all for stopping by. Thanks to the Almighty God that I'm still here, able to deliver your messages and for you to keep coming back to view your messages. Thanks to everyone who has been purchasing my book. Guys, I love the support and I love that my book is doing what it's intended to do and that's to help. And that's to help the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Twin Flames in general to be on the right path. Know how to handle their journey, know what to expect in their journey. And know what to do to solve all those issues. Now let's jump into your reading because what I'm getting here is that your masculine is on your mind. And you're feeling that energy from your masculine. Your masculine is like thinking about you right now. Going through old messages that you guys shared whether good or bad you're just going over things looking over things thinking about you so let's see what's going on our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Wow, excuse me. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with your masculine. Let's see what do they have on their mind. Because they're thinking about you a lot. Okay, what do these masculines have on their mind, please? The Seven of Swords. So they are thinking about the past and what happened in the past between you and them. How they were deceiving themselves. How they weren't truthful. How it's like they were... What's the word I'm looking for? They trap themselves. They are, thank you. They were trapping themselves in situations because of fear. Mm -hmm. Because of fear. When they know that being with you or you were their escape. You were the one who was there to escape help them escape from their struggles, relationships that no longer serve them. But they kept themselves trapped because of fear. What else do these masculines have on their mind, please? Fear, 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 and sadness. Fear and sadness, five of cups. Fear, sadness. And taking a break also. Relaxing. All those things that were damaging to the Divine Masculines, they're putting it behind them. Well, it's right behind them right now. They're putting it behind them. That fear that judging themselves, making them think, telling themselves, deceiving themselves that they are not worthy of your love, they are not worthy of such a person, like you're too good to be true. And it's like they're separating themselves from things that used to make them feel empty. What else is on these masculines' minds, please? 
I tell you. The three of swords. They're thinking about the heartbreak that they put you through. And they're coming back to make things right. They want to make things right. That's why they're thinking. That's why they are going through their mind. Because they're all trying to figure out how to make this right. But at the same time, their thoughts are getting a hold of them. And they're thinking about the negative sides also. What happened? So that's three of swords, four of swords, seven of swords. They're all in their head. That's the same energy I was getting, thinking about you. Just can't think it, stop thinking about you. But they're thinking about a reunion, the Three of Cups, a celebration. What else, please, do they have on their mind? The Queen of Cups in the reverse. They have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. They don't think that the Divine Feminine wants to give them their, um, their cup. They don't think so. After all that happened between us, I don't think that she wants me anymore. I don't think that she wants to be with me. I don't think she even loves me anymore. That's what's there. Because they know they hurt you, Divine Feminine. They're trying to find a way to fix things. They want this commitment. They want you, Divine Feminines, to lower that barrier that you have around your heart. Because they want to come in so they can mend that broken heart. There's a lot of truth that's going to come out here. A lot of truth that's being discovered. These divine masculines are getting signs and synchronicities from God. That's leading them to the truth. That's making them realize what was truly meant for them. Things that they put behind them that they should have been focused on. But their main plan right now is to come in, come in towards a divine feminine because they want that commitment. So they're asking you divine feminine to drop that burden. Release Release that wall that you have around your heart. Drop that defense. Because when you drop that defense, Divine Feminine, they can feel it. They can feel it. And then they'll know when to come in towards you. Because they can feel the freedom. Why do we have the Seven of Swords in regards to what these masculines are thinking about, please? The Five of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Two of Swords. It's just, it's just been a battle. It's just been a battle with these divine masculines. And they're truly seeing that they were deceiving themselves. But here they are, the king of cups, the counterpart to the queen of cups. Here they are, holding on to their cup because they were fighting internal battles, deceiving themselves. They knew that you were meant for them. But they didn't give you their cup. You see how tightly he's holding on to that cup? They didn't give it to you. 
Instead, they try to be things that they were not. Instead, they were putting on a show for others, trying to make people think that they're the man, trying to make people think that they don't love you because they may have felt like there were other choices. So, in their head, I don't want others to think that, um, what's the word? That I'm bound to this person. No, I, I'm, I'm free. I can have anybody I want. So they acted like they didn't want the Divine Feminine. They acted like they didn't have any plans for the Divine Feminine because they were trying to see what's next, who's next. What else is out there? What else can I find? Who else is interested in me? I'm seeing 111. Deceiving themselves, that deception. See this? When they knew that they were the emperor, they knew that they were meant for you. They could feel it. They knew it. Tell me about this five of cups. Why, why do we have the five of cups here? Four of swords. Ha! Huh, and that's what's next. Because they are doing a lot of thinking and healing and reminiscing. And that's what's on their mind, the pain that they caused you. But they're healing from this situation. They're healing. That, that's what's helping them to heal. Because them going back, really going inside and looking at the events that happened between you and them, now they're really having a closer look at what they did wrong, what they should have done, what they shouldn't have done, the road they should have taken, the wrong road that they went down. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. <laughs> and how they could have been happy all along. The four of swords. That communication is going to come in. The eight of wands. And the page of, of swords. These divine masculines are spying on you, keeping an eye on you, because they want to come in towards you. They want to communicate. It's like they're dying for the time to communicate with you. 13, 13. They're dying for the opportunity to communicate with you. Again, because they're holding on to the truth now. They're seeing the truth. Because God is showing them the truth through their dreams. People around them that look like you. They going up to people and tapping them on their shoulder. Running after people that they see. And when they get to the person, it's not you. Just someone that looks like you. They're hearing your names. Seeing your names all over. What's that? The Three of Swords and the Three of Swords. And that's what's next. Listen, when I get my messages, I, I, let's just say, God doesn't mess around. When he says one thing, that's what he means. Everything is just lining up here. The Three of Swords is next, and it's right here. That communication is going to come in. Because these masculines are looking back at the heartache that they cause. Now they want to work together. Because they know that they should have been working together, 1444. They knew that they should have been working together with you from the very beginning. You see, Divine Feminines, it's like their eyes were clouded. Their eyes were blocked. 
their hearts were blocked. They weren't aligned, they weren't awakened, but that's for a purpose, that's for a reason. So you can be in separation, so you guys can heal, so you can see what's wrong within both of you and heal yourself, becoming the spiritual beings that you are, that you're meant to be, serving God, doing God's purpose. And you cannot be living for God while still inside you have all those heartbreak and pain and hurt and things from the past coming up. You have to release them. You have to release them. There's only space for one. It's good or bad. You choose. Happiness or sadness, you choose. 1551. There's only space for one. Why do we have the three of swords on the masculine's mind, please? <laughs> you see what I just said? Because they weren't working together with you. That's the two of wands. They weren't trying to build with you. They weren't putting out any effort to be with you. So they broke your heart. They broke your heart. Some of them knew that they were breaking, breaking your heart, but it's like they couldn't stop it. And you know why they couldn't stop it? Because it was meant to be. It had to be that way. That's how they got your wounds to come to the surface. They couldn't get your wounds to come to the surface by being nice to you. When they were being nice to you, you the only thing you did was smile. While deep down inside, you still had hurt from past relationship, past family situation. So all these wounds, they had to treat you in that manner. So all these wounds could come to the surface. The same manner that you were treated in the past. So you could experience it again. And know that these don't, they don't stand any chance of living in a spiritual being and needs to be removed. So they're all in their head, but they're also connecting to God, connecting to spirit, getting that download, releasing that fear, ending the fear. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here on the masculine's mind in the reverse? The wheel and the Ace of Swords. That's because they are completing cycles. They want to complete this separation cycle with the Divine Feminine. They want to now offer you this truth that they have discovered. They want to offer you the true self that they have discovered within. They want to offer you a brand new beginning. They are becoming one within themselves. They are taking control of those insecurities. They are becoming a man. Or woman, whatever you're dealing with. But just know that holy, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And then holy, holy, holy crap, holy crap, why that in it? Oh, that's the money card. Holy shit, guys. They're working hard on your finances. Right now, they are not fully abundant. They're working very hard on it. Look at that. The six of wands, justice, balance, the commitment, the union, that happy family, happy life. That's everything that's on their mind right now. That's what they're seeing. That's what they were shown by God in regards to you. The life that they can have with you, that abundance. And they're thinking about that union. They are coming forward. They are coming forward. Ready to share, ready to bring forth balance, equality. On the same level. Both your hearts are aligned. 
and they're working on their pentacles, the page of pentacles with the page of cups. So they're working on their emotions as well as their heart and their finances. What's the good stuff that these masculines are, out, are thinking about offering the Divine Feminine, please? What are these Divine Masculines thinking of offering Divine Feminine, please? The truth about themselves, because they have truly discovered who they truly are. And they're coming in to offer that brand new beginning with the Ten of Pentacles, that legacy building a life together, building that legacy together, a tradition, something that can never be broken, something solid, a bloodline that's solid. They're coming in towards you, Divine Feminine. I told you that, the rider. And guys, when I, when I get my card, when I say that somebody's coming over to your house, check the comments. Check the comments. There are feminines who are saying, yes, they got their visit. I know, because Master God <laughs> are in my, how we would say it, Master God gave me the message to give to you. So this abundance is coming in. He's becoming that king of pentacles. Purging, releasing things that no longer serve him. Yes, all the confusion, all the chaos, all the misunderstandings, all the mistakes. He's purging, releasing that. There's a change that's coming in, releasing the blockages that's around his heart. New doors are opening, opening new doors, closing doors behind him and opening new doors. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, God, for confirming all the time because he's loyal to you. You may not think so, but what they were doing in the past was just a show. And that's completed. That cycle is over. It's time for the Ten of Cups. And again, we have the Ten of Cups show up again and the Ten of Pentacles. Now they're out. See? Thank you. See that? The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. They're coming back. They made your discoveries as to who you truly are and what you will be doing together because God is showing them this. See, with this Ace of Swords, they're going deep within getting the answers and the owls with a connection between spirit and man. And now here they are showing their loyalty towards the Divine Feminine. Something solid coming in. Give me one more. Okay. You see? God doesn't lie. Happiness. That's the main person in, in his life right now, the Divine Feminine. That's where his focus lies, on the Divine Feminine. And he's healing to come forward towards the Divine Feminine. That's the main person. That's his true friend. He knows that you have been loyal to him and he's been loyal to you. And he's coming right to your door, cherishing the moments that you guys shared before, the happiness, even the sadness. But that is making him stronger 24-24. That is causing him to see what was happening around him, in their surroundings. See all the deception, but that, again, that's making him stronger. That's making him stronger and more abundant because now he sees the truth. And he knows what to accept in his life too, and what not to accept also. So it's not you alone, Divine Feminine, who should know what not to accept and what to accept. They are learning the same things. See that? All the tricks, all, all the betrayals, 
of the divine feminine masculine in his own home in his own home the communication is gonna come in that whatever was going on there it's ending it's ending because now they're moving forward towards the divine feminine for a brand new life coming in giving you babies starting that happy family very soon very soon right, let me let me okay i had to reach to get this one let me get the romance angel 2552 Let's see what they have to say about this. Romans angels, what do you have to say about this message in regards to the masculine thoughts and feelings for the divine feminine, please? Pay attention to the red flags. They're seeing everything. See that separation? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. They're paying attention to the red flags around them. They are separating. They're moving on. It's time for happiness. Because they've found the one that they truly love. And the one that truly loves them. And that conversation, as I say again, is definitely going to come in. Because this is a connection that was meant to last a lifetime. A connection that can never be broken. And what did I say? Very soon. Didn't I say it? Very soon. Very soon. I just got this deck just to clarify that very soon. Because it's right here. Very soon. Let your friends help you. Thank you for the confirmation again. Very soon. This is true love. It's safe for you to love. Archangels, give me a message for these masculines and feminines, please, in regards to this message. Give me a message, please, for these masculines and feminines in regards to this message, please. <sighs> Relationship harmony, baby. There you go. Relationship harmony. It's coming. Arge Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Right now, baby. Right now, passion, Archangel Aniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. That's for the masculine. Give me one more, please. Okay, that's not one, but hey. Oh, boy. Spread your wings. It's time for you to soar. And leadership. See, they're definitely assuming their leadership power. Standing in that emperor power. Indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Remember who you are. So they're remembering who they are. I told you they're coming forward because they're truly remembering who they are because God is showing them who they are. That king of cups, that emperor. They're remembering their spiritual being. So divine feminine, open up your arms and welcome that gift from God. That gift from God. <laughs> and I'll say it again, somebody's coming to your house. <laughs> Clear your space, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use feng shui. So all of you, whom you know that this message is for you, clear that clutter, reorganize, make that move. Somebody's coming to visit you. There's a reunion coming back around. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and post my videos. My videos. Okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy.
anyways guys thank you so much for watching love you all bye